<laughs> All right. Welcome back, everybody. Clint today with Classic Firearms here to introduce the new Swamp Fox Raider. This little prism optic that you see right here is a compact little guy, durable and affordable, and something that I think you guys are going to like quite a bit. Right off the bat, I've already got quite a few mags downrange with this optic, and I am pretty excited about it because, for one, well, the reticle on it is actually pretty unique. This is the bullet rise compensation reticle that is unique to Swamp Fox and something that I guess you could say I haven't really seen before, at least this style. We can put up a diagram that really actually shows you everything that I'm looking at. And uh, what it is is ultimately like a large horseshoe, chevron in the middle, and then two bullet drop compensating points. And that allows you to get great, I guess, target acquisition, accurate shots at close quarters. And that's really cool for something like a home defense gun, which we'll talk about it here in just a little bit. But it lets you get a good, accurate shot with these, with this reticle at 5, 10, 15 yards, and then a 50 slash 200 yard holdover, which I think, again, is just really cool. So something, uh, again, we'll have that diagram shown up so you guys can see that. I've got it mounted today on my Colt M4, which, you know, is... Uh, Nothing new to the channel. You guys have seen this quite a bit, but I do have the Huxworks Flow 556K silencer on it, and also something new from A3 Tactical, or at least new to me. This is actually their modular vertical foregrip. This is pretty cool. You, it's they've got it for M-Lock and Picatinny. It's got an integrated hand stop, and I like using it kind of like that right there. Feels really good. Anyway, continuing on about this prism optic. So first of all, non-magnified. This is just one X. And what's really cool about this being a prism optic is for one, there's an etched reticle. That reticle that I've already talked about, that BRC reticle, that's the large horseshoe with the chevron in the middle. Being etched, you don't have to worry about the battery dying on you. Which, two other features, you're not really gonna have to worry about the battery dying on you Anyway, because it has a 50,000 hour battery life out of the CR2032 that it comes with. And on top of that, after four minutes of resting, this optic shuts off. It has a shake and wake technology that Swamp Fox has incorporated into this optic that pretty much after four minutes of no movement, the optic turns off. And then the moment you pick it up, well, now it turns on. It senses that motion, which I think is a really cool thing to have on a, well, home defense or personal defense firearm where you don't have to think about turning on a reticle, increasing magnification or not, excuse me, increasing illumination or dimming it, especially if it's a home defense situation where you're already stressed, you've got all sorts of, sorts of adrenaline pumping through you and you don't want to get down on your target and realize, oh crap, I forgot to turn my reticle on. Well, you don't have to worry about that with the Swamp Fox Raider. It does actually have 10 brightness settings, including two night vision modes, and you adjust those. There's little buttons sitting right up top here, up for increasing uh, sorry, <laughs> increasing illumination, and then down for decreasing illumination, and then hold down the down button to turn it off completely. But like I said, it's an etched reticle, so you'll never have to worry about that. Speaking about the reticle so much, you guys might be wondering, well, how does it work with a magnifier? Can I increase magnification, since it's non-magnified, uh, by throwing a magnifier behind it? And well, we've got Kaya over at Take Aim who might be able to answer that question for you. Thanks, Clint. All right, I've got the Swamp Fox Raider over here attached to my PWS Mark 116 Mot 2 with LMT Ion 556 suppressor over here. Super quiet and nice. And also EOTech G33 3X magnifier. Pretty awesome setup, and what I want to do right now is, without the magnifier, send some rounds down range and see how this feels. Check this optic out, and then I'll attach to, I'll actually engage to 90 yards down there with the magnifier. All right, let's get going. Wow, phenomenal. About 90 yards, let's see how that goes. Wow. Wow. Fantastic. Wow. Love this thing. Okay, I am utterly impressed with this optic. Love the glass clarity. It is super clear, and I like that bright red reticle. Another good thing about that is, without a battery, 
the black one, the reticle will be etched on the screen, on the uh, glass, so you can actually use it without a battery as well. At night it'll be different obviously, but really fantastic. I was able to acquire my target very fast, and that little half circle and a dot in the middle, a little arrow, it was, able, it was able to help me pick up my sight, my target very, very fast, very effectively. Overall, fantastic. I really, really liked it. Anyways, I'm Kaya from Classic Firearms from Take Aim Range, South Carolina. Back to you, Clint. Thanks, Kaya, and that's exactly right. This is an impressive little optic that has great eye relief, too. The eye box on this thing is very forgiving. You do not have to be completely in line with it in order to actually get a really good sight picture. And then also the eye relief, guys, is... Look, all right, so I'm <laughs> right here. No scope shadow, as they call it. Up here, none whatsoever. Feels great. All the way out here. It has a very forgiving eye relief, so much so that you can have this thing mounted pretty much if you wanted to, all the way at the end of your rail, which I probably wouldn't advise, but hey, you know what? It's up to you, it's your gun, it's your optic. You do what you wanna do, all right? So it allows you to actually get all of that, which I think is, again, pretty neat. Anyway, continuing on about this guy, it does actually come with two mounts as well, a 1.1 inch and a 1.6 inch mount, which is what you see right here, like for your standard AR-15. And the 1.1 mount, Allows it to sit pretty much right on the rail. So if you've got something that like a uh, AP5, MP5, or maybe something like a 4570 lever gun, that you know you want to throw that on, you can without having to worry about sitting it so high up on your gun. They are going to offer a 1.93 inch mount, also for those of you that like the little bit taller hide over bore. All right. Now there's something else that they're going to be coming out with a little bit later too, which is pretty exciting. Uh, a six MOA dot, also just a standard dot. So be on the lookout for that. Now, something else that's really impressive about this optic is, for one, it also comes with a kill flash right up front here. It's that honeycomb uh, type of, well, I guess you could say suppressor <laughs> that goes on the front of the glass. Because why do I call that a suppressor? Because it's actually suppressing the glare that you might get if you're looking down your optic and an enemy combatant or game that you might be hunting might see a reflection. You don't have to worry about that with the kill flash added. Now, it does also come with some lens cover that are included that actually can just well close on themselves which I'll show you here in just a moment but since I've got the kill flash installed on this one I decided just to go ahead and take that off so anyway let's just go ahead and finish this one out perfect and with that let's go ahead and grab that one with the 1.1 inch mount and talk a little bit about the body on this thing and What do you think about that, right? Now that is my Henry 4570 lever gun. This thing I like a lot. I love the way a 4570 feels, all right? Oh, yes, sir. Now with that, you'll notice I've got the low profile mount on here. The lens covers do this neat little thing where they actually just attach to themselves and then they actually just clip right onto the body of the optic. And I'm actually saving one of the best features for last, and that is the body of the optic. The Swamp Fox Raider is, well, the body is a zinc die cast, a uh, die cast zinc alloy, and it is extremely durable. And whenever I was talking to, yes, my emo doppelganger, Miles, about this, they already talked about torture testing it, and I said, well, I'll give it my own sort of torture test, if you will. So stay tuned for that. And with that, they said, well, we already did that also, but we would love to get your point of view and well, what I might throw through it. And they actually burned this thing, caught it on fire. They've run over it. They probably, they it sounds to me like they took a couple of lessons out of our book here at Classic Firearms when it comes to torture testing optics and other things. But uh, the, the die cast zinc alloy is supposed to be extremely durable, as are the actual screws that mount to the Picatinny. These are actually titanium, which again, lightweight, super durable. And yeah, that thing is on there. It's tight and you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. And if you don't exactly prefer the mount that it comes with, that's okay. It's a T2 footprint. So any of those aim point optic you know, mounts that you might have, this will work with. So again, very impressive. And uh, yeah, you know, I do love this 4570. Uh, I think this is something that maybe you guys want to see at CF contest at some point. So let me know about that, all right? 
it really does make those Velociraptor targets just vibrate. Man, that is awesome. God, I love 4570. I mean, just look at this round, and this little optic is taking it like a champ, right? I mean, yeah, of course, I've got the hollow point and everything, too. I don't know if that's showing up that well on camera for you guys, but, you know, there you have it. Anyway, fantastic little setup. I love this gun and I love this optic. I am going to be keeping it this way if I could speak right for a little while at least. Um, I might want to throw something magnified on here, but I mean, maybe a magnifier wouldn't be too ridiculous on a 4570. Maybe too ridiculous. I don't I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about the new Swamp Fox Raider down below in the comment section. And of course, what type of torture do you want to see us torture test this optic to? Running over it, you know, catching on fire. That's all basic. That's all easy. I'm talking about maybe freezing it and... <laughs> and then maybe burning it, really just throwing it through the ringer. And of course, after each trial, well, we want to test it zero, make sure that it's still holding zero at whatever distance we might be trying it at. So anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. I think I've covered all the bases when it comes to this optic. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. And I do believe that Miles might be kind enough to actually answer them, if not me which again, pretty much everybody thinks we're the same person anyway, but we have been seen together on camera and in room, so it's not like one of us is, you know, vigilanting for the other or whatever. Okay, anyway, I'm done talking about that. Uh, but with all of that, I'm gonna leave it off there, guys. What's that, Kaya? No. No, we don't have any more smalls, dude. Yeah, you're... You should, you should at least try a medium. You know, just... Okay. All right, I'll send you a couple of my mediums. Thanks. <sighs> Maybe Kyle will stop shopping at Baby Gap one day. Anyway, guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. Don't forget to check out cfcontest.com to see what we have going on over there. God bless, and we'll see you soon at Classic Firearms.